Creation and evolution. The factual creation of our planet is all inspiring. The overwhelming scientific facts and evidence is spiritual to me at times. Imagine how the evolutionary process began 3.6 billion years ago with just single celled organisms. As of today, the mass extinction rate of 99.9% .9 of all species are lost forever. I wonder how our ancestors survived this mass extinction over millions of years. What amazing feats they must have accomplished just to survive. I ponder this as well. What did the various species of animals, plants, and trees look like at the time where they were fit for survival? How visually pleasing or disturbing to one's eyes it must have been. Imagine how wonderful it would be if we could watch each species evolve over hundreds or even thousands of generations. Fast forward in just minutes. My imagination runs wild at times. Also wondering how certain environments would have changed these species on the micro and macro evolutionary scales. The mutations, speciation, genetic drift, natural selection, and so forth. I do not know how an indoctrinated mind can ignore and be so intolerant to such amazing feats in science history. In my opinion, our scientific research and advancements are a million times greater than the works of one book written, compiled, and collected by primitive man based on no evidence or facts that such stories have ever existed in reality. The religious fear tactics and oppression involved are greatly detrimental then to the peaceful works, research, and advancements of our scientific communities. This is why myself and others will fight to keep scientific facts in the educational system. Biblical creation is not even based on one scientific fact or piece of evidence and pseudoscience should never be part of our public school's education. It's now time to fight, even more so, against the hindrance of religious oppression in our children's education. So to the individuals that believe in the biblical fantasy of creation, please stop. Put your faith aside for once and look at the evidence and facts that science has achieved. No God was needed in the creation of our universe or our planet's attributes we should take into consideration the survival of our species without any religious interference. Here's some evolutionary questions. Where do you see our species in the next thousand years? How advanced will we be? Will our species still be here? Will we inhabit other planets, space stations, and so forth? Please provide your answers and comments below. Thank you.